If you do not have enough clients and you are also short of time, I've got some very specific advice for you today. Um, I know that right now, if you're like me, you've got children at home, you've got a lot going on, you've probably got less hours. I estimate I've probably only got about 15 to 20 hours a week to work in and on my business right now. And so when you are short of time, you need to be really ruthless about what you are focusing on and what you're going to let go. Now, if you don't currently have enough clients, you don't have enough clients because you haven't been putting enough time or allocating enough time to client generating activity. So let's get really clear on what's going to generate clients for you. I always say to my clients, start at the place where money changes hands. So if you want to get clients and you don't have enough right now, the thing that you absolutely must do this week is, is have sales conversations, is, gen is have conversations where you get an opportunity to understand what a person needs, match up what you're offering as a solution to their needs, and then sh share with them, this is what it is, this is what I've got, you know, this is how much it costs, are you in? That's a sales conversation. So that's the first thing that you should be allocating time to. So if you look at your calendar, have you got sales conversations this week booked? That is absolutely, that's like golden time. That is the most likely way for clients coming into your business this week. Now, you may say to me, well, Bernadette, I don't have enough. I don't have any calls booked in. I don't have any sales conversations. So then the second thing or in order of priority that you should be doing with your limited time is you should be taking actions that will book sales conversations. So let me be really explicit about this. Sitting and playing with a PDF on your computer where you're changing the fonts or the color or moving pictures around and you're telling yourself that this is going to be some lead magnet or piece of content that you put out there, you know, later this week, that is not going to book sales conversations. Booking sales conversations is when you reach out to people that you've already got some contact with. Maybe they've been customers of yours in the past, clients or customers in the past. Maybe they're people you're already connected with and you start a conversation with them. You start engaging with them to determine whether, you know, you can move them to the next step of, of actually setting up a proper sales conversation. Those are the types of activities you need to be doing. Notice in both of these, it's about you engaging with another person, engaging with someone who um, is in a position to hire you. Anything else, it's creative avoidance. It's you keeping busy and telling yourself you're doing stuff and justifying that action, but avoiding actually doing the things that would bring in clients and get money in the bank. I know I'm getting a bit het up around this because I care about you getting out there, right? You've got something valuable to offer the world. And you're not going to share that value and contribute that value if you are farting around with a PDF on your computer and hiding behind your screen. You get to share your value through paying clients and having conversations with people who can become paying clients. Just have this conversation with someone in one of my coaching calls where I said to her, you know, even if you had conversations and you had zero clients sign up, you'd still end up with the same result. But with having conversations, you at least had experience. So if you don't have enough clients and you don't have enough time, I can tell you right now, it's because you have not been allocating time to client generating activities. And this week, you need to get cracking and you need to allocate that time for sales conversations. And if you're not doing sales conversations, you need to allocate time to having those sales conversations. Now, I know that one of the reasons you've been avoiding this is because maybe you feel feeling uncomfortable with the feelings that come up as you start to do these activities. Maybe you feel exposed or you're worried about looking foolish or you're worried about being rejected. So I totally get that. It's totally normal that you, you might think that way. You're human. But those are not reasons to stop you. Those are actually, you know, feelings and thoughts to work through and still take action nevertheless. If you want help with coming up with you know, with, with getting past those feelings that are stopping you from take action, please reach out. I would love to help you. I can let you know about programs I offer where we do just th this. Um, but the bottom line here in my message today is if you want clients, you've got to prioritize the client generating activities. Okay, that's it from me. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Take care.